TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. There we go. You know when you get it right. Welcome to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your host, who always wants you to be here at this particular time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, I didn't have so much as a number picked out as a uh, time, and that was somewhere around the uh, apple, dog, and pony to find some kind of low for the week. Um, doesn't mean that we're going to actually go right up from here, but uh, I suspect that we probably are going to find some kind of decent low for the week. Uh, as I said before, options market makers have really not blinked uh, through the last four or five days. They've always thought that uh, 45.25 to maybe 45.50 uh, is uh, where the market's going to uh, expire for expiration on Friday. So I've been looking for some kind of catalyst, um, really trying to figure out what the market is concerned about here in the last couple of days. Is it something that would go away, or is it just something that uh, is a uh, existential crisis uh, going forward? I know there's a lot of stuff to always be worried about in the market. Um, I don't see a great deal of that uh, of anything different other than a bit of a pullback. Uh, but we'll continue to keep kind of an eye on it. But it uh, just looks like uh, kind of a little bit of a September sell-off uh, where a lot of different stocks are sold off and others are bought, and that sets up positions for, for the fall. Um, uh, many people talking about the Fed actually starting to uh, – uh, taper some um, since uh, just two weeks ago. It lasted all of three days before uh, they jumped right back in. I, it's kind of hard for me to believe that they're going to want to get their hands slapped once again so viciously by the market. Uh, we are pulling back, you know, you're off of what, 100 points off the highs or so in the SP. Right now we're down, what, 16 or 17. Um, and the volumes, you know, you, you keep an eye on it to see what's happening. Uh, today, the difference is the volumes are tracking right now maybe a billion and a half shares shorter uh, and maybe two billion for the day shorter by the end of the day. So volume has kind of decreased out here. Uh, as I said before, if I'm going to think real bearish on the market, I mean significantly more than you know just a handful of days as we've had before, I'd want the market to rally once again and still have very light volume. But my guess is a lot of what we're seeing now is out with the old, and then we're probably gonna go to seeing what's in with the new, and that's the stocks that will do uh, well uh, going into the fall, depending on what um, most of the people think that it's gonna do. I thought the, the market was worried about 9-11. Then I thought kind of uh, worried that uh, it was worried a lot more about uh, Apple today. Doesn't look like that's changed much. Um, was kind of surprised to see the market bounce as hard as it did off of uh, the numbers at 830 this morning, which I didn't think a lot of people had been talking about or looking at about at all. Um, you kind of have this uh, dark cloud over the uh, the top of everybody of, the, of a uh, – uh, giant tax bill that would certainly gut the stock market. So I can understand people talking about a potential huge pullback in the market. I, I just wonder whether or not uh, there is the political will uh, to commit Harry Carey because you're, uh, what, about a year away from the uh, next uh, midterms. And 
my guess is if you'd want to pull the the rug on the market now, there's going to be hell to pay in a year. I think a lot of people would think uh, differently uh, in the cold light of day. It may sound good uh, to uh, uh, eat the rich, but uh, generally, eh, those people that give lots of money to uh, political parties get it from somewhere. And if it's taken by the government before you can get it, it's not fairly easy to get it. So uh, I don't know. When it's all said and done, my guess is it doesn't amount to a great deal. But uh, I can see how some people are worried. Um, you know, if you did have a doubling of, uh, of the uh, tax rates for long-term holds and even more on short terms, could be a big deal. Uh, you see the overall burden in uh, states like New York, uh, over 70 percent, 70 and a half percent, if this would go through as written today. So there's not any not reason to be concerned, but I put kind of a low pri probability on it actually seeing the cold light of day um, and getting signed probably. Eh, maybe I've been wrong on this. It is a political issue again, um, but uh, I, it's hard for me to actually believe that as a matter of trying to predict the market. But yeah, if it went through, I think uh, how many people in the rest of the world would want to come and invest their money here in the United States? Uh, I think it would be significantly less. I also think that maybe a lot of people would get out now instead of wait till later. Of course, one of the biggest moves ever in the market was uh, based on even lowering taxes. And that was back in 1999 and 2000. Uh, and in that case, everybody was uh, holding uh, their uh, positions to sell at a much lower rate. Um, uh, generally, the thought is that everybody would exit as quickly as they could now to pay a lower rate than wait until next year. So it's always those uh, uh, unintended consequences of government action that you're never quite sure of because, again, they don't always play out the way we think that they will. But uh, the question is, how fast would the market leave uh, if we had confiscatory rates for capital gains? And I suspect uh, toot sweet is my answer. Um, I've been watching a question in the den is, uh, whether or not, uh, anything's really going on in Apple. And so far, no, um, there's a lot of little stuff in there, but it, uh, my thought was that normally these things run about an hour and a half. So we're probably getting fairly close, uh, to the end of, uh, what's going on. Uh, let's just take a quick look at Apple and see if it's done anything. Just seem like more of the same. It's off a of buck fifty, one forty-eight, um, ten. This the last I see. So not a lot in that. Um, we're waiting. There was a rumor that we'll talk about when we return. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And as we come back, not a lot happening, a little bit of drift uh, lower, down 21 points on the S&P cash. Um, as I said, the volume's a little lower. We're looking for some kind of low in here. And um, I don't think the Apple shindig is over quite yet, but I didn't see a lot that actually drove um, me to think that there would be a huge uh, move in uh, Apple uh, sales. And uh, we're down two bucks on Apple. So I think there's a little follow through right now thinking that there wasn't some kind of big overarching fe feature that actually is going to drive people uh, to buy iPhones. But uh, and maybe it's not done quite yet. Um, yeah, we're bouncing around here. I've got set negative 17 now, oh, negative 22. OK, uh, two, two, two. what else do we have? Okay. And for, oh, we want to do a little history and then we want to move on. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1814, Francis Scott Key pens a poem, which is later set to music, and in 1931 becomes American's national anthem, The Star-Spangled Banner, the poem originally titled The Defense of Fort McHenry, was written after key witnesses in Maryland Fort being bombed by the British during the World uh, War of 1812. Uh, Key was inspired by the sight of the lone U.S. flag still uh, flying over uh, Fort McHenry at daybreak, as reflected in the now famous words of the Star Spangled Banner. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. And of course, uh, what you don't know is where the music came from. Um, the underlying uh, music uh, came from a fairly ribald uh, drinking song uh, much a line of, uh, or along the lines of the uh, famous uh, uh, women from uh, Nantucket uh, 
kind of things. Uh, very ribald at the time. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the music, 19, what was it, not 19, 18, maybe 1650s, drinking songs along the wharfs of uh, England. Uh, many sailors, uh, bars and taverns. Um, I used to hear, I, 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 at one time I heard the, uh, the actual lyrics, and they don't sound that bad today. But apparently back then, wow, a big no-no. So uh, now you know the rest of the story. Now you know the rest of the story. And what else? That's kind of it. Let's go to uh, some charts out here today. Uh, going to go out here. Uh, I haven't updated this for a second. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, coming back into what should be support. Um, some fairly decent uh, volume uh, today and a, a down candle. Uh, I think it'll be a great deal of we should have huge support at these levels. So the end of the day will probably tell us a lot. Um, 441 and we'll call it 442 on the S&P cash. So we'll keep an eye on it. But uh I don't have anything in the indexes. I've been waiting uh, for a buy for options into Friday because I think we're going to have a fairly decent turnaround, at least uh, if the volumes continue. What I haven't seen is uh, a lot of people shorting uh, this move back down. Generally, the big sign to find a bottom is that. Uh, question on the follow-up from yesterday where I said AMD had a fairly decent-looking low. Um, two reasons. Uh, one, the energy uh, up from August 19th uh, to August 30th uh, compared to the that uh, August 30th high back into yesterday's low uh, was off by about 20, eh, a little over 20 percent uh, for the energy on the way up to the way back down. And you also had a 71 million share low from August 19th tested, um, not all the way, but close enough for a scar on uh, just 38 million shares. In fact, you didn't have much in the way of volume at the end of the close, because I think we had 30 million when we were talking about it during my show. So uh, actually a fairly good one and uh, holding up fairly well today. Um, what did I say? To, to, to 106.21. So you have your bounce. I'd love it to come back under 105. Uh, and see a lot of heavy shorting tonight, maybe even tomorrow, and then try to see if there isn't something. Because it's kind of looked a, a bit bullish over the last couple of expiration Fridays. Uh, but uh, hadn't really had the big movement out here. Got another question from uh, Ralph about uh, UVXY. And what's going on with this? Um, you know, you had a kind of a nice day on uh, the 10th, pulled back a little bit. The problem you have right now is that uh, the UVXY is based on the VIX, and the VIX is based on two different time uh, oscillators. I think, what is it? The, uh, I want to say it's on the 24 and the 36 days. Sounds right to me. I'd have to go back and look at the paper again. Uh, anyway, I wrote a little model out here, and the problem is that if uh, the way that those two things uh, react, those two different time frames react, you can have a, still a lot of decay. And my, in what I'm doing is the decay looks fairly bad uh, in the VIX, uh, which is translated into the uh, options on the futures of the VIX, uh, which ends up being the UVXY. And you end up seeing, you know, for the next couple of days, uh, even though you might have some big moves and a lot of people worrying about it, um, you really haven't had the the uh, uh, big uh, entry into that for volume, uh, which one signals a low uh, and probably just as much sing signals a high. So, you know, I'd love to see something other than yesterday where we have kind of a doji that ended up not doing anything today. Uh, they don't write songs like they used to. That's good. 
Okay. Uh, other things going on that I wanted to bring up. Um, I've talked about this one for six months, uh, and that is uh, these uh, uh, Herbalife uh, finally blew up today, and it took forever. Uh, it's looked horrible for a long time. Um, I'm not one to bet on earnings uh, too much, uh, but I knew it didn't either it was this uh, earning cycle or the next that this is going to blow up. Uh, you were down more than 20. Wow. Uh, you were uh, down more than 20%. And uh, we'll talk more about it when we return. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And as we come back, uh, we would want to talk about Herbalife. This has been uh, a long time coming. And, of course, uh, for a couple of years, it was a war between two of the titans on Wall Street. Um, one person taking the place of Robin Hood and Reddit. Uh, the other uh, saying that uh, the this is the truth. But, of course, it uh, doesn't really matter if you're on the wrong side of that. They were able to run Herbalife up to a real high. 
Uh, the whole uh, supplements industry has had a really a tough few years. Uh, the Federal Trade Commission changed the way you advertised, so you couldn't, ha you can't have a lot of people that are famous now uh, actually hawking your uh, product. They kind of get around it a little bit on radio. And I'm not exactly sure how they do that, other than it's on the host show. But uh, you're not supposed to have some kind of movie actor or something like that. I think that may be the the, di the small legal difference. Uh, but certainly, uh, in, unless you're listening to AM radio, you're probably not listening to those ads pushing uh, a lot of different supplements. Certainly, Herbalife um, had two problems. One was that. Uh, the second one was it was always uh, considered to be uh, by many, a uh, multi-level platform. And if you've ever sat down with a spreadsheet for more than five minutes, uh, it doesn't take you to figure out that multi-level marketing uh, mathematically can never work. So you're always having to drag new folks in. Eventually, uh, that model doesn't work anymore and it all goes away. Um, of course, you know, that two years of, of fighting and was it David Einhorn or was it another one? Can't remember these guys. I haven't watched uh, uh, infotainment TV for uh, stock trading for a long time. I occasionally catch it, but I haven't watched it very seriously in the last few years. Uh, anyway, um, what was it? who was the other one? I Icon, Carl Icon, and the other one. Yeah, I oh it was Ackman and Icon. Okay. Anyway, they fought over it for a number of years. You knew it was eventually probably going to zero. It's just uh, in the meantime, uh, can you take somebody out to the woodshed like Ackman? And in the end, um, Icon schooled Ackman. Um, but uh, guess who schooled everybody else? And that was the people that watched that, uh, what would you call it? Not a hoot nanny um, episode of a stock market adventures and thought, hey, why can't we do that? Uh, we'll just form our own roving gangs on uh, Robin Hood and, uh, and uh, Reddit. And we'll do the exact same thing that Icon did to Ackman. So we kind of have that going on, but we haven't heard much about it lately, I suspect, because a lot of the ringleaders of those Robin Hood and Reddit things have been uh, uh, looked at very heavily by the uh, U.S. government and uh, uh, leaned on a little bit that uh, the big guys don't like it. I don't think that there's, for the most part, I didn't think there was a lot in there that was illegal. Uh, but uh, certainly you don't hear about the big guys uh, uh, anymore in these meme stocks really clean in house. Occasionally it happens, but uh, certainly you don't see about it on the TV or the major news that actually covers uh, stock markets. Uh, but anyway, um, a lot of people think, well, uh, the stock is the company. And these are pretty good lessons to learn that. Just because the company is uh, maybe another Enron, it may take four or five years for those things to actually come out in the wash. When they do, uh, they're generally fairly brutal. Uh, my prognosis for Herbalife for a long time has been at least a retest of this $20 low back on March 17th in 2020. Um, and I think you can get there. There's just not that much there there. Uh, but certainly you're breaking now um, and may break this August 28th low. You need 10 million shares by the end of the day, 4301 for August 28th, 2020. Uh, that opens up really the move down to $25 and then uh, $20.73 for that March 17th, 2020 low. So keep an eye on that. I'd like that to consolidate out. Some people get back in it. Uh, but not a real big fan of being in the industry of selling supplements, uh, especially um, also putting those together with multi-level marketing. Um, a lot of claims when they went to court 
No one really lost any money on that. Um, although they, I guess, get to say that it's not a pyramid scheme. But uh, eh, I'll always consider it that. But that's my opinion. Anyway, you're down. You're going to have lots of volume. You have more than 10. Uh, you can break 4301. Um, and there are a lot of gaps to fill all the way down to $25 on that. Other stocks out here that uh, are having a bad hair day. Uh, not a day to start off the day uh, week already, uh, which is when it's down 11%. Uh, when resorts, uh, look at that volume. Uh, you're going back after a 5 million share low. That's the August 19th low with 4.8 million shares with 21 or 22 million shares already. Um, so you've got kind of that going on. There's some bigger gaps down here. I don't know if this sticks. Um, 81 ish should be fairly decent support. Uh, at that level, maybe you start consolidating out. Uh, and that making a big difference. But of course, um, I didn't get to look through the news. I would suspect uh, that since uh, it's standing room only in Las Vegas, this has a lot more to do with what's going on in Macau. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> okay. It's the electric slide, Jimmy. Uh, TM, uh, circle with an R, and... Uh, Something else, copyright. Got to put that on there. Um, two, two, two. Okay, we're down 30 points on the S&P cash. Okay. Question on the TLT from Arnold. And see what he has to say. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, thanks for the uh, heads up, Michael, from uh, Lutz, Colorado. Um, he came right back up to the highs uh, of uh, August 4th. That had 18 million shares. You had 12 so far today. I don't know if this is a lot more than a big trading range. I know the Fed's kind of trying to keep it going much higher. Uh, and uh, kind of sells into it. It's back to about 148, 149. They tend to throw some money. In. But uh, looking for that Fed juice uh, probably Thursday yet again this week. Uh, they haven't shut that spigot off. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And as we come back, uh, first question from uh, David MSTR. Do you think it will fill the recent downside gap this week? Looks uh, like uh, support's actually fairly good here. You had a day where it bounced off, had a lot of volume on the way up today. Volume's about half of what it was lately. Um, normally what you're looking for in these open gaps, uh, is to fill, uh, about half of it or go to the double gap. So your targets out here for possible plays would be about 580. I'm going to say 580, yeah, 575 ish. Uh, would be, you know, a great buy if you're long this thing. I don't know if you ever get that, but generally uh, 575 is where you could take a swing. If that fails, uh, probably about uh, 510, 520 uh, is that next double gap, which would be the next support. But uh, during expiration week, uh, you came down, you had uh, on the 10th, uh, a little less than 700,000 shares. Today, you got 451. Uh, you had 900,000 yesterday. So I'm not seeing a lot that says it's going to blow out. Uh, options really don't show a big blowout. Now, maybe that changes tonight and everybody uh, actually uh, does start thinking the market, at least the option market makers start thinking uh, we're headed lower. Uh, but if that changes a lot, then I'll change my mind. But I'm not going to see that data till probably five or six tonight. But uh, I don't see a lot out here that doesn't say that we still don't get a fairly nice bounce by the end of the week. Um, the big thing is just waiting for the whites of their eyes and uh, not taking a leap. I haven't added any option positions uh, for Friday quite yet. Um, but yeah, um, I would say halfway through the uh, gap is where you want to look at and that gap up is on the 26th uh if halfway breaks then you're probably going to that 520 much lower okay we've got some more stuff coming in here across the transom I, oh i was going to tell you i was going to talk like a sailor bow stern deck talking like a sailor okay what else do we have Okay, got a couple of those. Uh, quick tour uh, in FLX uh, through this. Again, like I said, I suspect uh, that we are setting up, we can set up for some big moves down. But that big move down or larger move down would be more likely uh, into next week. We've got two days now underneath the Netflix uh, three by three. What you'd like it to do is have a couple of days of a 
rally maybe back up to 600. And then the next tick down would generally be the one that would say that it could come all the way back to 535-ish uh, is probably where I would look for that if you get a double repo pattern. In fact, uh, good to hear uh, Joe DiNapoli uh, on uh, Larry Pesavento's show today. He's rather bearish, <laughs> as, as anybody that could listen to that show uh, would say. Um, I'm going to wait until I get uh, some more proof. I know that there's a lot of fundamental problems out there, and there's a lot of things we can look at. I don't see a lot in the charts quite yet. And generally, you see it in the charts uh, before you actually see it uh, happen. So I'm not a big bear here. In fact, I think I can make more money in a couple of day trades uh, going forward at the end of this week than I can uh, being adding any new positions here today. But we shall see. Uh, go back and check uh, on this. Okay. Yeah, off 27 on the S&P cash, down 70. On any day, I don't think anybody would say a great deal about that. But uh, since we've been up, everybody's, of course, uh, kind of freaked out a bit. Uh, to, to, what else do we have out here? We did win. We did uh, Herbalife. We looked at AMD. Uh, a question about Twitter from Anthony, TWTR. And of course, uh, you want me to look at anything, just email me at path at tfnn.com. Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, Twitter for a long time. I think you're coming back to the 4912. Um, the idea that they were going to. Uh, have newsletters on the thing and make a bunch of money hasn't really gone anywhere. Uh, they still fight to, uh, I want to say, monetize a lot of what they're doing. Um, and of course, they're facing a lot of lawsuits going forward. And of course, uh, uh, I also have a question about Apple. I wrote about it yesterday in uh, the uh, Tech Insider, because it's more of a, a, a long-term thing. Uh, but the decision on Friday for Apple, uh, I think the real uh, deep side, uh, deep meaning of what happened, uh, a lot of people are saying both sides lost. Uh, Epic didn't prove antitrust. And I'm going to say they didn't go far enough because the judge uh, actually said you know what, if you would have just done a little bit more work on that antitrust, I probably would have ruled in your favor. And if anybody else is going to sue Apple for the same thing, go ahead and throw a little bit more on there because I think you've got, I've got a big whiff of it here as a judge uh, that there's antitrust, you just didn't do enough. So I think uh, there's a little bit more than just Apple not having a, a great day to day with a new product rollout. I think there's a little bit of uh, that uh, overhead and kind of a, a weakened market. We're down, uh, what, $2.20 on Apple now. So that's going to be tough on the indexes to come back. Uh, two, 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 okay. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, question about Snap. We haven't looked at that one for a while. SNAP. <laughs> and we're going to go to Scott in uh, Denver right now. How you doing, Scott? Doing great. How are you, Dave? Good. You got about 30 seconds before the break. Alibaba and some of those Chinese stocks. What are you thinking? Uh, certainly, uh, if you get a decent low out here, um, the chart looks good. I would say that, you know, if you want to see these stocks really take off, uh, if we get some kind of confiscatory capital gains change, I think a huge amount of the money in the United States is going to China. Um, right now, this chart does look very good. I'd like a little bit lower, but uh, 89 million shares being tested by a little under 15 right now, not so bad. 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're going back to uh, Scott in Denver. You still there? I am, Dave. I was wondering... I guess kind of a general question first, uh, and then maybe another stock if you had time. Some of these Chinese stocks, whether it's be Alibaba or JD, are they going to go down as much, do you think, as some of the others if this market goes south? Um, it's all about how much money comes from the, the banks. So I, I think I have a harder time saying uh, that for China because I'm not exactly sure what they're doing over there. Um, I would say if you're just looking at the chart, a lot of these things look pretty good like Alibaba. Uh, I would, being a China stock, only play them with calls. I would not be putting uh, a bunch of money up against this. Uh, I would have limited exposure in case something bad happens and, uh, you know, these things are untradeable again, something like that. So I'd take the I'd take okay. the calls on it, but I don't think I'd go the I wouldn't go in the equity or an ETF or anything else I might be trapped in and take the whole loss. But uh, I tell you what, you've got me looking at uh, this for a Friday play uh, for expirations. This does look fairly good. I'm seeing some other stuff uh, look that well, too. We talked about AMD the other day. Um, 
that's also down with fairly light volume. Uh, another kind of day to day, uh, but uh, you know, there's a few of them out there that look fairly good. So, but I'm kind of not making real long term uh, calls on this. I'm kind of saying shorter term. Like I said, if we're really going to head down, probably going to get a bounce. That bounce will probably be late this week and in the next week. And then you probably see some bigger failures in the market. Generally, it just doesn't give up one huge uh, time. Okay? Gotcha. Thank you very much. We'll be back tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Building wealth trading in the stock market.